Hello, what is up guys? I'm your host Gordon and welcome to finally another car video. So it's been a while that I didn't upload any car video due to, you know, the situation is going around the world right now. We can't really go out that often anymore. So I think it is a good time to talk about the car a little bit since it has been a garage queen for, for maybe three, I think it's like three weeks or so almost a month of not driving the car and of course the car has been really reliable in these years of ownership but being a garage queen tiny problems starts to pop out here and there and I mean real problem And come on, not just the car is having problem, even me myself is having problem. Check out this hair, man. I haven't had haircut since day one of lockdown in Malaysia. I mean, jeez. Come on, let's take a look at the car. Okay, I guess I should start with problem number one, which is mole starting to grow everywhere in the car. I mean, seriously, legit mole started to grow in the car. So look at this. We have a lot of these white spot moles over here all over the armrest at the passenger side at the leather part. I mean seriously guys, you can actually take a look at the chairs. There's a lot of white spots. That is not dirt or whatsoever. These are actually moles that are growing on the leather surface. I mean take a look at this. There's lots of them. You see. Wow. These are some serious molding. Wow, there's actually a lot of it in the back seats. As you can see, these, those white spots over there, those white spots over there, you can see it in camera. I don't think you can see it in camera, but there's a lot of white spots on the leather seat. Well, that's what you get when you are staying at a humid country in Malaysia and your car is underground. So as you can see, molds can be very dangerous to your health. If you actually find molds started to grow in your car, get it clean as soon as possible as it can actually affect your health. So right now we are in the car right now, the car starts up just fine, no major problem in starting the car and whatsoever but the problems actually came from the speaker. As you can see, let me turn on the speaker real quick. I'm not sure if you can hear that or not but there is like lots of static noises, lots of buzzing, it's like crackling noises in the speaker but I'm not sure if you can actually catch it in the video but for some good reason, I think there are actually wires touching in there. So I'm not sure it's because of the humidity, mold started to grow inside perhaps. Well, this is pretty easy to get it fixed. So the other problem is actually a very weird one. So before I actually stop driving the car for about a month, the coolant is pretty much full. But after one month of not driving the car, the coolant just somehow dropped to half. As you can see, is not full anymore the coolant so I'm gonna let it sit here and idle for a while maybe drive in the car park for 10 minutes or so and see if I can get that coolant back to original level Okay, after idling for five minutes and drive for another five minutes around the car park over here, I still realize that the coolant level is not full. Yes, it actually goes up a little bit. Maybe I still need to drive a little bit more to get it full. And then for some good reason, this reverse camera over here, it used to be colored. And after one month of not driving the car, for some good reason, it became like black and white right now. Wow, that's, that's really weird though. And last but not least, the car is as dusty as hell. I'm not sure if you can actually see this on camera. Or you can actually see this on camera. My car is as dusty as hell. And yeah, that's, that's what's going to happen if you actually, you know, let your car sit in the garage for, for about a month and not touching the car. And that's what you get. So yup, that is all today guys. Like this video if you like it. Dislike this video if you do not like it. Subscribe if you haven't already. Remember to ring the notification bell button. And of course, I'm gonna see you hopefully in the next video. Yeah, yeah, yeah.